The world is a stage, darling, and this region is my stage. Hello, monsters abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in a brand new campaign as the Vampire Coast and Solostra Diophin. Sorry, I mean Dion 4. Dion 4, obviously. Now, uh, you might be wondering why the Vampire Coast monsters abound. Well, lemon, lemony screw, maybe, um, on the old Discord, ask if I was doing vampires. I read it as vampires, and I said, as a matter of fact, because I currently have a, a Gorst Patreon supporter campaign progressing. And I hadn't, I, I then didn't look at the Discord for a little while, came back, reread re it, and said, oh, it's Vampire Pirates. But at that point, the social anxiety was such that, well, I'm, I was going to have to play a, a Vampire Pirates campaign next. So that's the reason. And uh, I picked Solostra because she's the best, best girl. Best girl. Join me. I, you know what? There's a sexy mod for Solostra. I'm like, why? Guys, there's a limit. God. You don't have to make everything sexy. It's just, it's, it's weird, guys. Okay, Richards, you're in here. Let's get Richard in there. And uh, this is going to be called the Residence. Lady of the House speaking. Okay, let's, uh, so we start off in Nagron, which is interesting. And why the fuck do we have a little bordery thing? What's that doing? Do we have a special building here? Like, we're not like a black arc, are we? Are we? The fuck? Uh, Alright, passed. Don't know. Alright, we're starting Nagrond. I've not started Nagrond uh, since I've been playing Immortal Empires. I mean, basically, all the time I've been playing Immortal Empires, you've seen it. So, I've not started a campaign up here. So, we're going to start a campaign up here, which is fun. I think we probably want... To, if we can knock out the starting enemy armies here... And then potentially, like, buddy up with Malekith. I think that's probably what we want to do. If we can buddy up with Malekith, I think that's uh, that's going to be a quick win for us. I think we probably want to go... I mean, Missile Strength for Zomb Zomble Pirate Gunnery Mob is seems pretty good. So we'll grab that. And we're at war with the Forge Bound Dark Elves. No. Well, I mean, good luck with that anyway. What now? We will at least hear you. You'll give me a little. Will I? Yeah, we could pay you for a trade agreement. Is that worth it? I'm gonna say no. Uh, let's see what we we can get. 430 from you. For so let's do that. Rock. That'll get you on side. Death walks. You don't like Cruel. us. Welcome. Speak. You do, is there anyone Limitless else that would give us power. a deal? You would give us a deal. You are at war with the heralds of Ariel. Who are probably going to hate the people the we hate. Of Grand, so if ones. you want to give me some money to start Master off with, I'll Dreadlo take it. Nagareth doesn't Dreadlo like Dreadlo us. I don't think we, we can get anything Dreadlo. else. So that's fine. We'll go with that for a moment. For the moment. We also have treasure maps. I don't think the treasure maps were any were ever any good. But um maybe maybe we'll try and find them. We've got the pieces of eight as well. That's how we get our regiments of renown. Which is fine, I guess. And obviously we can raise the dead, so let's do that. Let's just raise everyone, because why the fuck not? And uh, let's kill... Let's kill these jerks. First battle of the brand new campaign! Has that brand new campaign battle smell. Obviously zombies are not the freshest. Now, if you've got any questions about how I'm doing this, it's because I record the replays. I'm also playing the campaign on very hard and the battle on hard. That's just my preference. And I do not enjoy playing legendary. Sorry. Alright, already those dark riders have been routed. And these other dark riders trying to get a charge in on our flank, but running straight into a zomble pirate deckhand mob and Richards. Long-suffering Richard. He's now chasing them down. Meanwhile, we do have bleak swords and red spears advancing across the water towards us. 
Our Zombles may not be much of a match for them. However, we do outnumber them quite severely. And Solostra can summon in Damned Errant Knights. Well, Damned Knight Errants, I should say. Sirens are swooping around behind the enemy units and now moving in to cut them off as they flee in terror. And our guns are actually doing very well. Solostra is, you know what, quite a tanky character. I mean, you don't want it to melee any, like, super heavy melee lords, but generally... She can, for the most part, deal with early infantry pretty well. And she can always make them wet, of course. Got kind of a bit of route there. Plus, he calls this terror as well, because, I mean, who wouldn't be scared of her? The Mongols moving around the flank. I don't know how I feel about Mongols. I guess they, they, they do have a good bonus versus infantry of 20, which means they are pretty good versus infantry, but they're pretty poor against everything else. So, I don't know. They seem to be good at disrupting enemy formations, but not much else. Red Spears getting shot in the back and also being sung at. Definitely the worst combination. And Richard has engaged the enemy Dreadlord. However, Richard decided that, you know what? Let's, let's just leave him to get shot. And uh, we are going to unleash a hail of gunfire at him. Which is quickly going to make him reconsider... His employment options. Mm, let's. T mm, do I want the money? You know what? Let's take the replenishment. Because well, spiteful shot isn't. I mean, the magical. I mean, the accuracy is okay, but the magical attacks aren't really useful for us because we already get magical attacks. So not really that useful. Um, I'm kind of tempted to get inspiring presence. Five percent movement range is well. It might. It. It might be exactly what we need. And we're going to give you... Damned Rage! He's absolutely fuming, is Richard. Oh, he's had enough of it. Right, let's get in here. Set the slice of victory. Going to kill... Oh, I'll take it. And we'll occupy. Because we want... The, now, what do we want to build? So we've got an iron mine here. Which is not the worst thing. We do have the, the slave pits and a meat market. But let's get the tree and noose because that's going to give us the extra growth that we need. Do I want the deck hands, bone yards? It's not really that useful. To be honest, I think I'm going to knock that down. I don't think that's actually going to be that useful for us. What we can do is upgrade to the officer's cabin because that will be useful for us. And I'm kind of tempted to save my growth, actually. Because the sooner we can upgrade that, the better. Because as soon as we upgrade that, we'll get a, a fleet captain. Is it a fleet captain? What is it? Uh, yeah, fleet captain. And they have the ability to put uh, the pirate coves into enemy settlements. Or just settlements in general. Which we can then harvest money from. Kind of like Skaven Undercities. Uh, Ghosts of the Past. So they get a little bit more... Oh, we get two uses of it, which actually is quite nice. I do like the idea of more income from post-battle loot, though. 
You know what? I think I might do this. And the reason I'm doing that is because the more money we get from fighting battles, the more likely it is that we'll be able to afford buildings, which we can then use to recruit better units. I need an okay. Uh, do that. Hello? No. Can I not attack? I don't... Oh, I wonder if it's because the army's inside the city and it's projecting its, uh, its control and I can't attack either of them because they're both in their own zone of control? Maybe? What the fuck do I do about that? Uh, maybe if I lay an ambush, they'll wander into me and I can deal with them that way. That's the only thing I can think of. Because if they stay there, I can't get them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 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 Let's just get more growth. The more growth we have, the better, right? The more growth we have, the better. Okay, so I can't seem to attack them. We'll, we'll, we'll see if they come out with... Because if, if they can't see me, they may decide... Oh, there we go. We got the ambush. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm hoping now we can attack the settlement. I mean, assuming we win this battle, we will. Well, I'm glad we've managed to lure them out. Now we just need to finish him off. Then come the damned Knights Errant. We're just pushing up, trying to wipe out the enemy column. They do have a lot of shades. Uh, this is, I think these are the guys that only have a shade building to start off with. So the only thing they recruit is shades. And to be honest, early on, that's an absolute fucking nightmare to deal with. Because they dish out a lot of damage in melee combat and also at range. Not really a unit you can afford or access until later in the game. And they just seem to, like, churn them out. So I think dealing with these guys ASAP, definitely a good option. So moving up, wiping out... I mean, to be honest, dealing with with elves early on for vampire count, the vampire pirates, vampire coast, I should say, is uh, is kind of a bastard because in a shooting match, the vampire coast aren't really gonna win. I, I feel like with elves, you need to like smack them repeatedly with with monster beast men. Deal with with elves really well. Because you just charge in there, you tie up all their missile units, and they can't do any damage. Whereas the Vampire Coast, early on, you've mostly just got the gunnery mob. And uh, in, in, a, in a range shootout? I mean, you'll probably do okay, but I don't know if you'll beat them. Fortunately here, of course, we have managed to tie them up with our knights. And now we've got the, the, the deck hand mob in here as well. And I don't really care what happens to the deck hand mob. So we, we're shooting cannons into the melee. And the sirens should be able to do quite well as well. Up to 41 kills already. Good job, ladies. Nicely done. Do want some more of the uh, the handguns? Is it handguns? Yeah, handguns. Just because they do more damage, they're longer range. Admittedly, they can't shoot on the move like the gunnery mob can. I mean, these guys are okay in melee. Co I mean, they're not you know nothing to write home about, but they they can fight in melee combat if need be. And uh, we we have access to a lot of them. So that's good. So we've managed to wipe out the vast majority of the enemy. The Shades are fleeing the battlefields. And now we just need to uh, chase them up and finish them off. If we're lucky, they were marching, but I don't think they were.
Well, we got our bats back, and it looks like they've retreated back to the settlement. I'm assuming that means we can now attack them. Yep, looks like looks like we can. Good. Good. Uh, Area of Torments. I kind of do want to go for Freebooter, though. I think I'm going to do that. Then, then we can get oodles of money. Uh, let's give you Evanescence and Stoic Death. Ooh, you look so, so luminous. So very luminous. Can we just sort of... I'll lose the bats. I'm okay with that. Oh, the bats came back, so double, double good. Double goods. Okay, those guys are dead. Treasure map has been found. Only a miserly hoard of treasure will be received. Well, that's the bloody point in that. Down there somewhere. Fine. And we've got the Curse of Eternal Service. It's going to give loyalty, will not decline, and control. I mean, that's all fine. Obviously, Queen Bess is a really good one to have because that thing is a fucking madness. Join me. It's absolutely insane. In a good way. So we've got enough money, and I'm. Hang on. I've got enough money. We could. I mean, this will give us extra growth. But it will cost a growth. You get 10 growth a turn. We're gonna we're gonna plumb for it. Oh look, we can get a a fell bat. Good. Hello. Dastin Cold Eye Granite Stance. It's a hell of a name. Uh, oh, so that's what we. Okay, I don't really want that, and to be honest, I don't really need the bats either. I can live without the bats. They're both down there. If we can get an agent, maybe I can send them down to go and hunt down the um, the treasury bits. Slavering stagehands, speed and charge bonus for animated hulks and mongols. Let's get the area of torments. Just seems like a good one to get. Uh, I mean, chilling aura is quite nice because that's going to slow everyone down. And then the thing which is going to give us more growth, like that one. There we go. More growth is good. I, I'm, I'm suspecting that Aleph is probably not going to like us. Killing Aleph early is probably a good idea because that guy is the fucking worst. Noble of Nagaroth. Karen Carr. What plight do you bring before the Black Court? Gladly. When I. Passes, so shall I. Okay, good to know. I think we should probably just wait for him to bugger off and then grab his settlement when he's got his back turned. That is, uh, that is my thinking. I would like to get these, but I, th I think we need to save up our growth for the captain's cabin. Because. Only the freshest fish reach the captain's table. So, and I do like fish finger sandwiches. Oh, a bit of tomato sauce. Buttered bread. Oh, nothing better. This will strength for our boys. Our precious, precious boys. I say, I think we just want to get growth here. And I'm thinking we beef that up. I need an audience. And again... The sooner we can gr the sooner we can grab this the better. Cuz getting that getting that vampire fleet is uh it's going to be very useful. More re you know what range range against Aleth? Yes. Aleth is wandered over there. Oh, I'm really tempted to declare war on him and just sack it. I'm very tempted. Oh, jeez. Aleph is just taking settlement after settlement. I think we need to nip this in the bud. 
Yeah, we're, we're you know what? Actually, 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 let's let's make this let's, let's You shall speak and I shall listen. Okay, then if I declare war on those guys, what are you gonna give me? Can you give me a trade agreement? Can you give me some money? Sure. Good oh, right. I was gonna I was gonna fight him anyway. Now I get some money and a trade agreement for it. Oh my friend. Okay, we're gonna hit this. What's losses like? Gonna lose those. You know what? I'm okay with that. We're going to sack it. No, that was not the way I wanted you to go, Solostri, you stupid bint. Right, run this way. I'll grab a couple of those lads. And we'll upgrade this, seeing as we've now got the money. Thanks, Alice! You dick. Do I want spike for a shot? I don't really. I wouldn't mind more money from from sacking stuff, but seem sensible to start getting some magic. You will listen. And replenishing troops seems like a good shout as well. Right, Aleth is a me. Hello. Haunting performances deserve yep. a far greater stage, my lady. That's a good point. After all, only the finest is good enough for the world's foremost prima donna. Indeed. Is that it? All right, piss off. Right, a self-obsessed singer needs a doting audience, and Solostra is technically still well overdue for a high-profile performance for the High Elves of Ulthwan. Many years ago, the Lamprey succumbed to a storm in the eastern straits of the Great Ocean during an important diplomatic voyage to take Silostra to sing before the Phoenix King. A treaty of great import was reliant upon his pleasure in her performance, for the elves believe good art, music in particular, to be as valuable as gems and gold. It was an important engagement, so surely the Hyles will still be waiting for her. Well, obviously. Oh, some Bretonians. Right, we'll go and deal with that. But first, Alice has immediately rushed back to deal with us. Oh, he's got those fucking shadow walkers. What are you guys doing? Get the fuck, get, just, just fucking do something. Useless bastards. Uh, so, what do you have? That's not particularly concerning. All right. All right. We're going to... Why can't you ambush and move? Yes, my pretty. Right, come back here, because I guarantee Alice will desperately want to do an ambush. So if we come down here, we may be able to lure him into a fight. And oh, Plus, he can ambush in, in normal move as well, which is a nightmare. Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? We can see the coast, so I'll know if he's there. He might be going around this way. He might be being a sneaky little bastard. Unless he's over there. No, it looks like he's wandered over here. Interesting. What are you guys doing? Should you not be retaking shit? You useless dicks. I swear to God. Why? I don't know why you can't move. I guess maybe it's because you're a horde, potentially. Uh, tell you what, if you come over here and just ambush there. Basically, I need the ambush. Uh, he's got a stack of troops. That's not good. If I if I sack the monoliths again, I I bet that'll piss him off. I believe they do. Yes. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Let's go with. We don't really need the money. Vampiric corruption in adjacent provinces wouldn't be the worst thing. Defenses, potentially. Artillery is a good shout. Oh, Alright, well, seeing as he's, uh, he's busy looking elsewhere, Bop. The gods are watching. 
Well, I hope they got an eye full of that. Laters! I need an audience. Okay, we've got three growth. We'll get growth next turn. Then we'll get the Vampire Fleet Admiral. Now, I would like to use that as a hero in my army. However, it's better to use them to go and set up um, Vampire Coves. Aleph is stationed in the monolith. Do I just go for it? It's a bit ballsy. It's a bit ballsy, but I wonder if we could do it. The bone to pick. Can come from more buildings. Okay. The other thing is, I don't like the amount of units he's getting. Oh, hand cannons. I do like hand cannons. Siren of the Scrolls. All right. I don't. I don't like it. Stick that on there. We'll upgrade you. And uh, sure, money building. I'm not a huge fan, but we are going to go and try and take out. Alice because he's got more armies this growing and I'm not a huge fan of that of it says valiant defeat he's mostly got archers it's just that these guys I don't like they're awful awful to deal with Oof. It's a wee bit blinding. I thought they'd fix this, but apparently not. Next, turn on the bloom, guys. Fuck me. It's not, it's not a new style fucking Star Trek movie. Jesus. Okay. Now, the Shadow Warriors aren't the problem. It's these guys. The Shadow Walkers. So these guys have fantastic melee attacks. They, they they stalk, they fire while moving. They've got missile resistance of their own. Um, they are really, really, really good guys. They are really good units. And only Alice has access to them. So we're going to have a shootout with High Elves, which I don't... It's definitely not the best idea, but we do have some melee units. Uh, we're just going to have to try and uh, suffer suffer the deluge of arrows. You know, we shall fight in the shade. There we go. Um, probably a good idea with the amount of fucking snow glare we're getting. All right, I'm hoping the damned knights errants will make the difference. They're charging across the ice and snow towards the enemy army purely as a diversion. I'll keep that. I'll keep the little, little SOBs busy. Okay, we seem to be winning the engagement. We do have a, a magic... No, not a magic turkey. Just a normal turkey. A normal turkey in the middle of the sirens. He's taking quite a lot of damage there, so it's like he's trying to trying to get out. The poor old hand cannons. I love them, but they're getting shot to pieces. As are most of my zombies. We are taking horrific damage early on. As the high elf arrows find their mark. I don't think we'll be able to survive this. At least the damn lights like errant are keeping a bunch of uh, spearmen and shadow walkers busy, so that's something. Solostra has engaged a handful of spearmen. That bloody turkey's got away. In the trees, a bunch of our melee units, along with Richard, are mopping up some archers. Even archers should lose against the zombies, eventually, anyway. Now, we do have the Mongols. Now, these guys, I was a little bit down on them, but actually... They seem to be doing some excellent work mopping up archers all over the place. And that's causing the archers to run around, which is giving our gunnery mob time to do some damage. No 
That's it, rip them limb from limb, guys. Look at them walking around on legs, mocking you! All right, so far so good. We're actually, I was a little, I was, I was worried early on, but we do seem to be bringing it back. Once we got those, uh, those Mongols in behind them, it seems to have forced them to run around a lot. The Shadow Walkers are taking considerable damage. It's just constant peppering from the gunnery mobs. Just whittling them down ever so slowly. I don't know what we're going to do about Alice. Uh, probably just ignore him, potentially. Right, Solostra and Richard are sticking together because Alice has been busy trying to shoot Solostra throughout the battle and he's found the mark several times. She won't survive... She won't survive constant hammering from Alice. Uh, but she has managed to get quite a few kills. 76 kills there. She's doing very, very well, actually. Now, the problem is we don't want these guys to run away and then turn around and start shooting us again. So we need to keep the pressure up. We need to uh, wipe out these units. The balance of power is slowly shifting in our in our favor. We did start off with more guys, but only just. And considering all of our guys were Zombles, we, we've managed to kill significantly more of the enemy than they have of us. These Mongols are now engaging the Shadow Walkers. They've managed to rout them. Nice work there. Lots of the High Elves fleeing the battlefield. Now, if we have to kill Alice, I don't really know how I'm going to do it, apart from just get as many gunnery mobs as possible to just fill him full of lead. That seems to be the, the best way of dealing with him. The Sirens have been racing around, murdering units of archers that they can get their hands on. Just chasing them around works as well. And now our gunnery mobs are basically free. Sort of hunt down fleeing units and uh, mop them up. The Mongols are doing great as well. The cannons continuing to lay down suppressive fire. They've got some, uh, some good kills in there. But the Mongol... You know what? Mongols have done very, very well. I have to give them that. It looks like the balance of power is now in my favor. Holy shit. And of course, we don't need to kill this army. We just need to break it. Because it's a settlement battle. And if in a settlement battle the garrison loses... Oh my god, look how many bodies littering the battlefield. In a settlement battle, if the defender loses, they are wiped out. And it looks like Alice has had enough. He's fleeing the battlefield. And that means he's dead. At least for the moment, anyway. Oh, that was a little bit dicey. Um, I am just going. Now, we are the... Um, I'm going to raise it. Perfect. We fled back into our own territory. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Phew. Very, very dicey, but we won. We lost some units, which is a shame. Let's do something like that. Let's do something like that. And we need... Oh, actually, if we don't... No, we can't not recruit those. Never mind, we need to save some pennies now. Need to save them pennies. The show must go on. Makes you unbreakable. More physical resistance, melee defense. That sounds interesting. Armor piercing and melee attack for sirens. Oh. That does sound quite good. Fog of the Damned is really nice. However, rotting Prometheans are an absolute bastard to kill. So we're going to take that. I think we'll beef up our sirens as well. And... You know what? Kiss of the Deep. Sure, why not? Why not? Let's 
do something like that. Okay. We've, we've taken out Alice. Now, because we... Oh, I suppose... Did we get the Alice traits? We did. Hero action cost minus 15%. And hero action success chance increase. It's not the best trait, but I'll take it. Right, everyone likes me because I'm beating up Alice. They fucking love it. Nago, speak, guest, and we shall listen. They fucking Theory, love me. You would do well. They Leave like me. House. They really Let like me. However, we need to see who Malekith likes. We want to cozy up to him. We gotta do it right. Constructor, savage blow. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resettle this. And I realize that means spending money, but it also should give us that. Okay, it's not quite the big pile of dead things that I was hoping it would be, but uh, it's something. It's something. Right, if we can just knock out, if we can maybe sack... So basically, as long as Alice doesn't have his goddamn Shadow Walkers, I'm... Oh, God. Oh, Torok. You don't like me, do you? How long do we think before he declares war on me? Okay. Okay, I'm going to assume it's going to be pretty soon. Where's the big bull bastards? We just don't know. Right. I'm going to... Have we met Malekith yet? No, he's just over there. I think, I think, he, I think he'll like us. He do, okay, he doesn't like Karen Carr. Right. I mean, we could always beat up Karen Carr for him. I'm not going to pretend that I, I won't just hack them off like a gangrenous limb, should I need to. I'm just going to water as that, I think. Um, and I'm going to sack it. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to tootle back to my own territory. Because that means I can now build my goddamn cabiny thing. Which is what we wanted to do. Uh, that I'm not too bothered about. Public order here is absolutely fine. I don't want to build any buildings. Because if I do that, I won't be able to build the thing that I want to build. Let that be a lesson to us all. I have brokered with storms. Bargained with gods. What are you? A big angry cow. Yeah, I did think that might happen. Okay. We're going to have to deal with... He's probably heading for our undefended settlement. That would be my guess. Okay, he's over there somewhere, which means he's probably heading for Hotex Column. Of course, of course. So we're going to rush to the defense of Hotex Column. Hopefully we can reach it in time. Because what I want to do is build that. What else would be good against... To be honest, we can merge you guys. Let's get rid of you. I feel like one of those may be a good shout. I mean, we can always recruit artillery. So maybe if we merge some of that and then get a mortar as well, that may be enough. I'm hoping that Karen Carr can deal with Alice now that he's down to two, two shitty settlements. And he can just recruit garbage, I would assume. Rangers and arch... Yeah, he's, it, I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that that's mostly dealt with. I hope. In the meantime, 
Let's see if we can, uh, oh, please, come on, Torok, you big, you big brass bastards. Okay, he didn't attack us. However, I have a sneaking suspicion he's definitely heading for Hotex Column. We lose the monoliths. I'm not too worried about that. However, we can recruit uh, that one. Recruit. Uh, does it really matter? Devious. Oh, you know what? That's probably going to be quite useful for a character who is just going to be by themselves. I mean, ultimately, we, we eventually want um, one with vampire lore. However, I think Emily Fleet Captain reporting. is going to wander over to Nagarond. Or, no, actually, that's probably the worst thing we can do. What would be a good a good location to put a... I, I'm tempted to send it down to Ulthwan, but I feel like the High Elves will declare war on me then. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to maybe Marienburg, maybe Altdorf, maybe Erengrad, and we'll put a port in there. Because they're, they're more likely to have things on their plate than the High Elves, who usually just have the Dark Elves to deal with. And considering I'm in the way of the Dark Elves, it feels like a bad idea to go and prod them at this point in time. Uh, so let's do something like that. And... I wouldn't mind more campaign movement range. Right, let's see if we can get Torok. And we're going to put a Vampire Cove in hopefully a high value settlement but that's gonna have to wait until next time thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode